Hello. Uh, right. Today I'm going to go through uh, something quite quickly, uh, which is um, ordering through Edelweiss. So browsing through a catalogue, um, going through the markup, which you will have been sent by your rep, um, and uh, looking at the titles in the catalogue, comparing it to how similar titles have done in your shop, looking at all the markup information, so all the bibliographic information, basically a bit like um, people were doing with buyer's notes in uh, at Bertline and the catalogues that were sent from, from anybody. Um, but this is more of an interactive experience, so um, it's like a preparation for a rep visit. Um, and I'm doing this because on Friday we've got a, um, a Penguin Edelweiss collaboration um, to and with Andy Rossiter. So basically we're going to do a live um, uh, front list ordering session with the July Penguin catalogue. So what you will receive when a catalogue has been uploaded to Edelweiss is an email. Um, now I've got two here, um, but this is one from Ruth at Treeline, a test one that we were doing. So it's the July Penguin Random House uh, UK catalogue. Um, and you can see titles, notes, tags, everything like that. You should then just be able to click on it and it will open. OK, so this is opening up now. You can see it's on July catalogue. Um, what you'll see at the top of the catalogue are highlighted titles, so things that your rep has decided um, you're going to be particularly interested in. Um, so the, the big titles, basically, so you can see Rodham is up there. Um, I'll just go through this screen a little bit more. The, the area we're in is catalogues. Um, so if we go back to there, catalogues, you can see we've been playing around with a, a few examples of this. Um, but I'm going to go back to this. So um, what we have on this screen, if we scroll down, so here is our highlighted title um, there'll be more than just one I'm sure um, it's just uh, as, a, as a test so you can see uh, one crucial bit of information is what the rep has decided is uh, comparable titles to um, uh, to, to this and um, what's really nice is you can look at those and think ah how did they do in my shop uh, as you can see, I'm a new shop, so I haven't got any information, but this will tell you uh, sales first month after the release, second month, third month. Um, then you've got your average on hand then you've got your your sort of total sales are over here as well. Lifetime sales, sales last year, what you've got on hand at the moment, which if it's front list, you presumably won't have, but you may do. You may have already ordered. Um, so yes, so then you can see any reviews that are available. If you want more bibliographic information about the book, uh, we can click into uh, the title here. Here we go. And then we've got all the bibliographic stuff um, in here. So reviews, um, you can see here, it's been compared to sliding doors. Um, uh, so that might be an, so so one thing you can do is you can take a title like that if it's not already been added as a comparable title you can add it yourself uh, which is really nice so yeah it's not been added here but I can go in uh, to find additional comps I can put my title in I just copied um, and search for that um, and then you should be able to find uh, the book that you were looking for in here um, yeah and just add it in so you can just tick it um, and add it in that's the one I'm looking for um, so add selected title and then it will appear in here and then all your stats will appear in there as well um, you can see links to Goodreads as well so you can see reviews on there um, and you can look at your own review and you can place uh, a review on here at the moment as well if you have already uh, read it. Um, you can also add it to a shelf. So the idea of a shelf, uh, things where you can see the options here, uh, something I'm highly anticipating, 
um, some, something I'm currently reading, uh, something I've finished reading, didn't finish, or just add it to a favorite. Um, and you can also add tags as well. So if you look at this um, and you want to add something that is relevant for your shop, so let's add a tag of political, uh, political, um, that's now added to this title. Um, and what you can do then is you can use tags. If someone comes in the shop and says they're looking for uh, political, you know, political titles, you can come in here and you can search for all your um, political tagged items, which is a really nice feature. Um, so this orange bar at the bottom is your current order that you've got selected. Okay, so I can see here I've got my penguin book bugs uh order selected now if i want to create a new one i can just and you'll need to do this when you first come in you can click on plus uh call it let's call it peng oh my caps lock wasn't on penguin test for instance now i can choose to share this with a rep at this point so they can see what the progress is that you're making through the order or i can leave that bit to the end if i want to but i'm going to share this with elspeth there we go okay so i'm going to tick that um and close that so there you go i've got an order shared um I could put something like July penguin cat on there. Um, and then I could put my appointment date as well. So the idea is you're prepared for this meeting. Um, and then you can say, OK, on Thursday, on Friday at uh, 12 o'clock, I'm going to have my meeting. OK. Uh, so if we go back down to save this, oh, bad date time, let's fix that. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't put a minutes in there. There we go. So I'm going to save that. Uh, so now I can start adding books uh, based on the information that's in front of me uh, to an order. Now, um, a nice trick is that so this this once you've got an order created, this section up here is uh, where your uh, quantities that you want for the shop will go to. Um, this little number here is what's been recommended that I order. Uh, so what your rep thinks um, uh, you should order. Now you don't have to follow that, but there is an option to just take all of the recommendations. Um, and um, and continue. Uh, if you really trust your rep, you can do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is say we'll have one of those, and then I can just press tab, and it will take me to the next section. Uh, I've got my picture in that. Um, right, so it'll take me to the next book. So tab one, tab. Uh, traveler at great wisdom yeah we decided we were having that um, and then it's just tab all the way through so I'm just gonna put ones in there I think we decided we weren't having that one uh, shadow friend uh, yeah um, yes so I'm just pressing one and tab on all of these now what you might notice is my you won't know this is my shop category, but this is my shop category here for these titles. Now that's automatically set because of some other work that I've done um, on my settings tab, uh, where I've mapped all of my categories to my uh, shop to my to the big categories. Um, now that's quite a simple job for me because uh, we only have three or four grown-up categories. The rest of our categories are children. So uh, pretty much everything just goes into adult fiction, whether it's crime or uh, historic fiction or, or whatever. Um, and then we've got non-fiction, adult non-fiction. Uh, it's the children's where we have a lot more categories. Uh, so this is so that was a really easy job. Basically, everything will go in as either those two until we get to the children's. So uh, let's tab through this. Um, I think we decided no on that. Um, so let's do one on that. 
Actually, no, we decided not on that. Uh, yes. And so on and so on. Uh, I won't go through the whole catalog. Um, so from this point, you can see down here, it's built up um, a total of my order. Um, so eight units, oh, eight units uh, with a value in there as well. Um, what I can do from this point, um, after I've you know seen my rep and gone through it completely with them, I can then go to my orders. I'm really just sort of describing the um, the uh, the process in terms of what you do in your computer as opposed to how you have your meeting. Um, but here is my penguin test order at the top here you can see eight eight hundred and twenty five from here i can go into it and check i can add and remove from here as well um, now you've got different displays as well so if i want to just uh, view it in a far more condensed way i can go to this um, and if i want to view it in a list i can go to that Okay, so and again, all the information is available um, at a click of a button from here as well. So from here, I can go to export preview. Okay, and these are this is basically the format that Bertline needs in order to export um, and and place the order. So uh, Bertline manual order. Uh, is set up there. Now GuardLink customers should have one in there for GuardLink, um, GuardLink order or something like that. Um, but anyway, if we click download here, you can see I've got a little file that's gone down there. It will ask me, do I want to mark it as complete? Now I'm not going to actually finish this, so I'm going to say no, but if you want to mark it as complete, then um, that information will also go to the publisher. So there's my penguin test order. All I need to do. Oh, actually, thinking about it, I need to be on this on my computer to do this. So I'm logged into my server now to do this. Uh, so let's go into orders and do this again. Penguin test. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, export preview. And um, so I'm just going to highlight all of those. I don't think I did that last time, but highlight all of those. Download. There is my file. Okay, I'm not going to mark it as complete. So I'm going to go into Bertline. Now, this is the clever bit. So this is going to save you a lot of work doing it this way. Um, if we go into manual ordering, if we go into manual stock order and batch entry mode, and OK. Uh, oh, that's one I was doing earlier. Let's cancel that. Sorry about that. So uh, manual order, manual stock order, batch entry mode. OK. Now I just need to import from file. So we're going to find the file that it just downloaded, which should be in my downloads. Penguin test. There it is. OK that. Now what you'll see, the clever bit um, that's going to save you work, is it's categorised all of these books for me, even though I've never had them in the shop before. So now I can go to Process Manual Order, and that will go and find all the bibliographic information for the books for my system. It's going to take a minute. You'll probably find a book that it struggles with, but let's uh, let's give it a go. There we go. They're all going in now. Um, so, oh, what I forgot to do was change my supplier, of course, to um, to uh, gardeners. So all um, pre-orders for um, Penguin at the moment are going to go through gardeners. So I need to do that. So manual stock order. I could have moved those books into a different order, but I um, want to show you properly. So yes, before you do import, drop down. Go to Gardeners, uh, import from file, uh, downloads, there's my order process. They went much quicker that time because it's already gone and found those books. 
And now all you do is complete manual order. Uh, I'm going to put it into a new order because I didn't have an existing order open. And now if I go into orders, there's my gardener's order. And all I need to do is transmit and transmit. Uh, Leanne's in charge of ordering. I'm not allowed to order books. So I'll let her do that. I am. Um, so that's it. If we go back to Edelweiss uh, very quickly. Uh, so you'll see your catalogues in here. Now what you'll see on the other on the side. So I'm currently in catalogues um, uh, shared with me. Uh, if I want to look at all other publishers, I can go here and check out some of the others. So as you can see, Pan Mac are on there. Uh, you've got various other um, catalogues to browse through and there'll be more coming soon as well. Um, yeah, so that is it. I don't want to bore you with any more, um, but I uh, hope you find this useful. It's kind of, like I say, in preparation for Friday's Zoom call uh, that we're really excited about. Okay, thank you very much.